Developing news in San Bernardino County, newly released video and audio is offering new details about a teenage girl kidnapped by her father before she was shot and killed by sheriff's deputies after a pursuit. Fox 11's Christina Gonzalez, live in Fontana, where the girl's ordeal began. Christina. Yeah, this is where they lived, where the girl's mother died. I remember <clears throat> her, bo her body was right there in the corner. And uh, the video was actually obtained uh, video via what is called a Freedom of Information Act. It was done by media outlets. And people here say it confirms what they thought all along. Watch. When I saw that last night, I got even more pissed. Referring to just released video of the shooting death of 15-year-old Savannah Graziano abducted by her father in September of 2022 in this Fontana neighborhood where investigators said he'd killed the girl's mother. The video shows the crazy shootout at the end of the pursuit of Anthony Graziano's truck on Highway 15. Savannah had gotten out of the passenger door. She follows instructions from one of the deputies. You can hear his voice and the shots on his belt recorder. Passenger, get out! Get out! As she is crouching to the deputy, she is shot. Someone in the helicopter says, For people in the neighborhood where Savannah lived and her mom died, the video brings back haunting memories, especially when authorities initially said, Based on the information, evidence suggests that Savannah Graciano was a participant in shooting at our deputies. They said she was running like this. You know, in the beginning, they said she was running towards them. She was down on the ground. It's sad that it went, it went quiet immediately and it's taken over a year to come out because of accountability she was a child it's a hard thing to watch it's a hard it's thing a to hard imagine. thing it's to a hard thing to imagine that child no i mean i got really pissed when i saw it last night when they showed her crawling on the ground like, that's not what i was told and San Bernardino County Sheriff no, not commenting at this point. I spoke with family members on the phone. They're overwhelmed. And what they're trying to do right now is to shield Savannah's little brother, who survived this whole thing, trying to protect him from this whole thing. So no official comment at this point. Live in San Bernardino, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to the studio.